Bonjour, and welcome to story time with Michael Lyons. Oh, this is already running. How you doing, people? My name is Benjamin, and I am an Anamosh. Does anybody know what Anamosh means in English? That's an Ojibwe word for something. Dog. Very good. Anamosh is dog. Would you like to uh, hold me while I uh, while Michael reads a story? You can be Benjamin. Now this is a bear. Hello, my name is, well it's Bear, but it's Bear in Ojibwe. Does anybody know how to say Bear in Ojibwe? Even though I have an English accent for some reason? <laughs> what if I told you my name was Makwa? Makwa is my name. And Michael's going to read a story today about, oh, about an animosh. Would anyone like to hold me while Michael reads? Would you like to uh, be Makwa? And then he's a puppet, so it kind of fits like a mitten sort of now this oh ma kaki oh ma kaki bonjour oh ma kaki is my name and i'm just a little frog oh ma kaki would you like to hold me while michael reads a story just no. say no, thank you. That's okay. Would you like to hold me, <laughs> Daryl? I mean, Daryl, would you like to hold me? Going. <laughs> I'm going to put Oma over here. Smiling girls and rosy boys coming by my little toys. Monkeys made of gingerbread and sugar horses painted red. Rich men's children running fast, their fathers dressed in holes. Golden hair and mud of many acres on their shoes. Gazing eyes running wild past the stocks and over styles. Kiss the window, merry child, coming by my toys, coming by my toys come and buy my toys you watch your father plow the fields with a ram's horn and sowed it white with peppercorn unfurled with a bramble thorn now your watching's over you must play with girls and boys Leave the parsley on the stool, but come and buy my toys. Come and buy my toys. Come and buy my toys. My I don't have any favorite books as a grown-up. None of the books I ever read. And I went to college for reading books. I majored in literature. Oh, I'm an English major. English literature. Oh, I love to read the books. You know, none of the books I've read in college or on my own since I grew up. Do I care about? I don't have a favorite book. It's like, oh, I sure love that one book I read in 2001, you know. Um, but I do have favorite books from when I was a little girl. The only favorite books I have are books I read probably before I could even read very well. Books like Where the Wild Things Are. That was one of my favorite books, Where the Wild Things Are, with Max, and he's in his wolf suit, and he goes to a land of 
wild things. And they're basically just monsters. But they're like cute monsters. They're like teddy bear monsters. Where the wild things are. And then there was Corduroy about a little teddy bear. This little girl goes shopping and she picks up, she wants to buy a little teddy bear, but he's missing a button. And he goes looking for his missing button. And his name is Corduroy. That's a favorite book. Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. I love Winnie the Pooh. Any book by Winnie, with Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Like a to Z. A is for acorn. From atop an oak tree in the hundred acre wood, a little acorn fell right where Pooh Bear stood. B is for bears. Some bears growl, some bears snort. Pooh Bear is the humming sort. C is for carrots. Carrots are so good to munch. Rabbits grow them by the bunch. D is for door. In spring, Pooh's door is open wide to let the sunshine come inside. Winnie the Pooh. I kind of have like fond memories of Dr. Seuss, you know. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. But, you know, the other day I was reading, uh, what was it? Fox in Socks. Fox and socks and box and cox and bluck, 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 you know. And by the time I was done reading that stupid book, my throat was sore. And I'm kind of like, Dr. Seuss, did you ever read your own books out loud? It's too much. <laughs> you know, calm down, it's too long. But Dr. Seuss books are kind of good. But then when I grew up and I started reading like chapter books and that, I don't know. I really liked um, The Outsiders, <laughs> you know, The Outsiders. Really anything with Emilio Estevez, no. <laughs> but I read The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton when I was a little girl and I was probably a seventh grader. I, I read all the S.C. Hinton books, and they were okay. I don't know. I guess probably the book. Coming by my toys. You shall own a cambric shirt. You shall work your father's land. But now you will play in the market square Until you become a man Come and buy my toys Come and buy my toys I guess probably the best book ever written, speaking as not only an English major, but as a librarian, has probably been um, Paul Stanley's autobiography, Face the Music. Face the Music. That's probably the best book ever written. I mean, move over Shakespeare, nobody cares. Paul Stanley, Face the Music. <laughs>
<laughs> Not to be outshadowed by his follow-up hit. Um, what was it called? Backstage passes. Backstage passes. And Paul Stanley, well, you can do it all. Anyway, what am I going to read? See, you can read anything in the library. You can, you can even check out a book on Ojibwe language. Today's Ojibwe word of the day. Library or a reading house. This is what it means in Ojibwe. Again, that's so we gamig. Again, that's so. Again, that's so means comes from he or she reads, reading. Again, that's so. And a we gamig, we gamig, I guess, we gamig. You know, it kind of sounds like wigwam. That's like a house. A wigwam, we wear a lodge. This is the reading lodge, the, the, the reading house. Again, the Sioux we got meek. Again, the Sioux we got meek. Or library. And this has been your Ojibwe word of the day. My name is Natasha, and I will see you again. Gigawaba bin, miwa. Oh, what do I want to read? <laughs> no. Hey, be quiet! We're in a library! I'm trying to read. <laughs>